Meantime, the Miami-Dade School Police Department is conducting a very large-scale active shooter drill today. And local 10's John Kelly takes us inside their preparations for the worst from Hialeah. Today's training coming just two months after the Uvalde school shooting in Texas. Officials hoping to learn from previous incidents by making today's drill feel as real as possible. A dramatic drill designed to mimic a mass school shooting. I want anyone who's thinking, right, of causing damage to any of our schools, to our kids, I want them to know exactly the level of force that we're bringing to them. The realistic exercise held on the campus of Hialeah Senior High School, officials going to great lengths to make the experience as real as possible. Our goal is to, to rattle the officers as much as possible to present a realistic approach, and that involves students screaming, that involves fire alarms going off. <laughs> The drill beginning with gunshots, the mock shooter firing blanks to be safe, school staff assessing the situation as police arrive. The shooter eventually found in an upstairs classroom before being neutralized by responding officers. It's at that point the search for survivors and a possible second shooter begins with both police and paramedics canvassing the campus room by room. We want to challenge us as much as possible. So we pick complex high schools, older high schools that have been renovated with challenging classrooms. The training even using real students as actors pretending to be shooting victims. Some rushed to a downstairs bathroom where they were triaged by paramedics before being rushed into a waiting ambulance. Other students made to come out with their hands up. After giving the all clear, officers held a post-drill briefing to assess their response. Officials overall calling it a success, hoping this training will never have to be used in real life. And what we've seen in the last couple of these incidents, unfortunately, is that the hesitation waiting for someone to take control of uh, the command structure for the law enforcement. And, uh, and I'm satisfied with what I've heard and how they've addressed it here. Altogether, more than 100 law enforcement officers took part in today's drill. That's the latest from Hialeah. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.